Amidst darkness of peaking second wave of COVID-19, shortage of beds in hospital, oxygen cylinders, shortage of medicines like Remdesivir, Ectemra, we heard about another medicine being wiped off from the market overnight. That was liposomal amphotericin B. Plea for arranging the same for the patients and family members started circulating in social media. But why? Because this particular medicine, liposomal amphotericin B, is used to treat a very deadly, life-threatening, debilitating disease which is called mucormycosis or nowadays widely known as black fungus. Till date, more than 500 cases of this disease, particular disease, is being noted all over the country in just one month. In pre-COVID era, we used to see one to two cases annually. But now we are, we are seeing almost two to three cases daily. Because of this constant rise in the numbers of patients of mucormycosis or black fungus, government has also declared it as a notifiable disease, which means every government hospital or private hospital, nursing homes have to notify each and every case of black fungus to government so that they can, take, they can track the new cases as well as the mortality due to this particular disease. Government has also developed a separate wing or department for uh, in, in the medical hospitals or medical college associated hospital for treating and isolating these patients. Now the question is, what is this black fungus actually? Is it related to COVID-19 only? Are all patients of COVID-19 susceptible to black fungus? How can we identify it in the early stage and is it curable? How can we prevent it? We will try and find answers to all these questions in this video. Hello friends and welcome to your YouTube channel, My Expert Doctor. I am Dr. Shalini Singh Salumke with you as your consultant physician. If you are liking information we are giving through our videos, please encourage us by hitting like button. Share it with more and more people so that they will get benefited out of it. If you have any question related to your health, feel free to put it on the comment box. We will answer it as soon as possible. And also, do not forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications of our upcoming videos. We have also started free online consultation, details of which is there on screen. You can share this with your friends and family so that they can consult us in their hour of need. So, what is black fungus? It's a fungal infection. Causative agent is mucor. It belongs to the family Mycomycetes. Now, you want, you want a face or an identity, right? So when you stain it with GMS and look it under microscope, it will appear something like this. Oh, but this isn't black. Then why is it called black fungus? Because on the site of infection, it damaged tissue and caused death or necrosis, which appears black in color. Since it was obtained and identified from the black point, it is called black fungus. You can resemble it from the black scab that you see around your wound. Next, where does it live? It lives in air, soil, food. Hang on. If it is everywhere, then why it has never caused any disease among us or we have never heard of it? It's because it affects only that group of people who are extremely sick, like HIV, cancer, patient on chemotherapy, transplants, patients who have rare immune-related disorders. The proportion of this, this, the percentage of this population or subgroup is very rare. That's why you have not heard about it very frequently. Now, what's the mode of entry? This particular organism or fungus enters your body when you breathe in. When you breathe in, the spores of this fungus goes into your nostrils, from there into your sinuses and then to your lungs. Now, how is it related to COVID-19? First of all, your immunity reduces in COVID-19. This is because your neutrophil lymphocytic ratio increases. That means the neutrophil will increase, the lymphocytes will reduce. Now, there is a subset in lymphocyte that is CD4 cell, which is an important part of immunity. 
This falls in COVID-19, which is a risk factor for acquiring black fungus and similar opportunistic infections. Second thing is, in severe cases of COVID-19, there is long-term use of high dose of steroids. Steroids are basically used to reduce the inflammation which is which is taking place in your body when you are diseased. So it's it will save you from COVID-19, severe cases of COVID-19, but it also it will also reduce your immunity, will again make you vulnerable for getting opportunistic or secondary infections. So it's a double-edged sword. Third is the use of other immune modulator drugs such as Actemra, I'm sure you might have heard about it. Now recently we are using Bevacuzumab and other drugs. So these all are used again to reduce the inflammation which is happening because of COVID-19. So it, all, it will also reduce your immune, immunity. Fourth is the pre-existing uncontrolled diabetes and other immunocompromised status or diseases. This is like HIV, TB, cancers, patients on chemo, patients who have undergone transplant. So they, these patients have already immunocompromised status. So they are again vulnerable to get infected with black fungus. All these four conditions are related to COVID-19 in some or the other way. And that is why they, there are increasing cases of black fungus in patients with COVID-19. So who are at risk? Now, those who are at high risk are Number one, who have who are on long ventilatory support. Number two, who have long-term use of high dose of steroids. Number three, who have uncontrolled diabetes or increase or irregulated blood sugar levels. Number four, who are immunocompromised. Like again, I am telling you, I told you earlier, HIV, MDRTB, cancer, chemotherapy, patients on transplant, and patients with chronic renal failure. Now, there are patients who are at low risk. They are patients on steroids but have good blood sugar control. And number two, patients who have been on ventilators, the ventilatory support, but for a very short duration, like for suppose three to four days only. Now, very important, patients who do not have any risk of acquiring black fungus. Number one is asymptomatic COVID-19 patient. Number two, mild symptomatic COVID-19 patient in home quarantine. Number three, moderate symptomatic patient of COVID-19 either at home or in hospital. Number four, short course of oral steroids. And number fifth, patient who were in general healthy before acquiring COVID-19 infection. So these five category of people have no risk of acquiring black fungus even if they have COVID-19 disease. How can we identify the symptoms in high risk and low risk group in an early stage? First one, when you will look at the face of the patient, you will be observing deformity and asymmetry. That means there will be swelling, redness, loss of sensation, black mark and pain over one side of the face. It will be localized. Second, there will be excruciating headache with persistent pain, especially in the recovery phase of COVID-19. Third, there will be some changes in the eyes like shape, size and vision distortion. Eyes will appear like bloodshot red eye. Fourth, cheekbone. There will be some swelling, local sided pain in one side of the face. There will be numbness and you will be able to observe some black slough or black point appearing in that side of the face. Nose. This is very important. In nose, you can see black crust or black discharge from the nasal area. And when the portico, I have already told you that black fungus goes into your nostrils and goes into your sinus and might go into your brain from there. Now, there is a plate called cribriform plate which separates your nasal cavity from your brain. These fungus can invade this particular plate and go to your brain. In that condition, you might observe some delirium. That means you will be, you will be in a confused mental state, state of confusion. You might have some memory loss. 
which will be an acute memory loss then you might have some neurological impairment that means you will not you will have you feeling some kind of weakness pain over one side of the body either in your arms your legs one side of your face something like that you might observe altered mental status or unconsciousness because of all these symptoms it is also called this disease is also called rhino cerebro sinusitis rhino means nose cerebro is brain sinusitis is involvement of sinuses and the last thing there can be distortion of your jaws and teeth if you identify this particular these symptoms at an early stage the patient can be very easily treated with antifungals like liposomal amphotericin b and similar other chemical products and can be isolated promptly to reduce the risk of spread now what to watch for when you are at the hospital you should be observant towards any black patch around your nose nasal bridge or eye if there is some black discharge from nose or ear you should promptly inform to your attendant or hospital in charge you should also be observant towards blackish discoloration of your expectoration while coughing when you are at home you should be aware and observant towards facial asymmetry as i have already informed some kind of localized pain swelling redness any kind of black the discharge or black tissue appear appeared on your one side of the face or some black discharge from your nose your ear any kind of visual impairment or any kind of mental deterioration or confusional state what precautions you must take when you are at hospital one should be watchful for the high risk or low risk category patient blood sugars should be controlled very strictly if you suspect that the patient can be admitted for a long time or might be receiving steroids or antibiotics for long time or might require ventilator support for long time you must start the patient on prophylactic antifungals if the patient is on long long term ventilatory therapy the tubings should be changed from time to time methylene blue should be used in humidifier while at hospital while after your recovery when you have come home you should be watchful for next 15 days mask should be on your face all the time because i as i have already mentioned that it enters your body through inhale inhaling the spores of the fungus or breathing so your mask should be there on your face all the time you should avoid touching soil or plants because that's the source of mucus mycosis or black fungus into your body also you should monitor your blood sugar levels regularly at home or some nearby clinic in our next video we are going to see what is white fungus is it a real threat we will also share three positive news related to covid-19 recently people are finding it difficult to register and book an appointment for covid vaccine hence we'll share a simple trick with you till then stay happy stay safe